Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to do the chart of Britney Spears. Britney has been in the news for various reasons lately and many people have asked me to take a look at her chart to see what's going on. And when I looked at her chart, I was astounded as to how we could see exactly what's going on for her. And for those of you that don't know, Brittany has had quite a difficult year and I will explain. So let's put her chart right up here, Brittany Spears. And looking at her chart, she has Virgo as her ascendant sign, rising sign. Virgos are all about perfection and getting things right. And what I find very interesting is that Virgo is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is in her third house. Mercury's in the third house and it rules Gemini and Virgo. So it rules the 10th house and the first house. So it's such an important planet for her because it's really about her career and who she is. And if you'll notice, Mercury sits in the third house. Here's something that I learned in Vedic astrology that made it, made it so different to understand. The third house, we were always told, deals with communications, it deals with travel, it deals with learning, and it deals with brothers and sisters. But in Vedic astrology, it's all those things as well. But the additional meaning is it's the house of entertainers and creativity. And actually the fifth house, which deals with, this, with creativity as well, well, the fifth house is the third from the third. So both the third house and the fifth house deal with acting, entertainers, dancers, and that is exactly what we have here in her chart. Mercury sits right next to Uranus, which means sudden unexpected windfalls of, of like luck and fortune, but it also makes someone very unique and different. That's what Uranus can do. And it really is the, the essence of her chart that explains so much of her, her incredible talent and entertaining qualities, but also the major shifts and changes that have happened that were like incredible, shocking events. That's planet Uranus, and it sits right next to her Mercury, plus her sun is there. And the sun is, is as well, Mercury, sun, Uranus are all in Scorpio. And Scorpio is the sign that can deal with charisma, which I have to say, she is very charismatic. She, you know, she was a household name for many, many years. Then going to her fifth house, which is the other house of creativity and entertainers and deals with film. Third and fifth, notice what's there, her moon. Her moon and Venus sit there in Capricorn. And I noticed also when you look at her Rahu and Ketu, really K2 is at 29 degrees. So K2 is so close to 29 degrees of Sagittarius while her Venus sits there at one degree of Capricorn. Even though the signs are different, they're really so close. And this makes her very unique, the Venus K2. And it can be un, unsatisfied love and things of that nature. And even children, you know, she had her children taken away from her during the time that she had that, well, she just went out of her mind because, you know, when you are that, that famous, it's just, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything, all eyes are on you. Nobody likes fame once they come to that point. It's your freedom's gone, your life's gone. But just looking at her chart, you can see the vast array of talent that she has. The fifth house is the house of talent. We actually say it's a house of Puva Punya, past life good credit that's due in this lifetime, which means good karma 
which to me means talent. So Venus and the moon, that is a beautiful combination to have together in her fifth house. Incredible, incredible talent that she is. And you know, Saturn sits in the first, first house close to the ascendant degree, which that means she has had to discipline herself and she is controlled. And that is what we're going to be talking about today, what's just come up. Because Brittany has revealed now and in courts and everything about the incredible, incredible control that has been exerted on her for such a long time and she's exploded and let the world know what is going on. What's been happening is her parents, her father, they have something called conservator conservatorship over her. And what that means is the courts decided that they had complete control of her life to the extent of she is constantly going in for psychological or psychiatric evaluations. She has to take a drug called lithium. It is, she has no control not to take her medication. And she says it makes her feel like she's drunk all the time. She can't get anything done. And furthermore, they have even manipulated that she is not to have more children. They have some type of birth control where she cannot have children and she wants it reversed. But can she? Well, she finally blew up because there's been so much control. Her father exerted so much control over her life and her money, needless to say, too. She is used. She feels like she has been abused her whole life and used her whole life. She has no freedom. This is why this big thing hit the news. One night she went on to her Instagram, which of course somebody does her Instagram for her, but one night she went on there and told the truth about how she's been being controlled and manipulated. She can't leave the house without someone watching over everything she does and says. She is not a human being. She doesn't have her life with this kind of control. She spilled the beans on Instagram and that became where the whole court case and everything. And she said she was so embarrassed to have to tell the world what she's been going through all of her life. Ever since the time she lost her control because of the control that's been exerted on her, she went crazy. And that was years ago, but now she is rebelling and telling the world what is going on. And I want to show you astrologically what's going on because I was actually astounded to see what's going on. Now let's consider where the transiting planets are that are causing this thing to hit the news right now. Looking at where her natal moon is, 18 degrees of Capricorn in the fifth house. She is in the deepest, darkest Saudi Sauté that you can be in. Saturn is 18 degrees as I speak. Capricorn on her moon. And there is no help from Jupiter being in Capricorn anymore. It, Saturn's there all by itself, barreling down on her moon. And whenever somebody goes into Sati Sati, there is this pressure, responsibility. It's heavy. It's Saturn. Saturn is limitations, lack, endings. And if you'll, I have noticed that whenever people go through Sati Satis, it plays havoc on their relationship life too. So that's probably an issue and a problem. This is tough. 
she is going through the worst time with Saturn. It's not only conjoining your moon, it's stationing there. It's standing still for three months at 18 degrees of Capricorn. Now, the next thing I happen to notice is where are the eclipses falling? Because we have Rahu right now at around 16 degrees of Taurus and K2 at about 16 degrees of Scorpio. Plug it in. Boom. What are you seeing here? The sun is at 16 degrees of Scorpio right now. The eclipse during the June eclipse, K2 was 16 degrees of Scorpio and it's there for three months. That exact degree that her sun is. What is the sun in Vedic astrology? The father. What is K2? Lack, separation, endings, sometimes death. I'm not, but that's figuratively the death of the relationship with her father. That's what is happening. And this is an eclipse. Eclipses are life changing wherever Rahu and K2 are. So she's being hit by the nodes right on the sun and Saturn on her moon. These are the lights in the chart, the sun and the moon. They're being exactly hit at this point in time. No wonder this all came out, but let me give you a little ray of hope of where she is headed. Cause here's what I love seeing. Notice where her natal Jupiter is. Her natal Jupiter sits at seven degrees of Libra. And guess what has been stationing lately at seven degrees of Aquarius? Jupiter. So now is the time of her freedom because Jupiter is aspecting her natal Jupiter. And Jupiter is in the second house, it's family, it's money, finances, sense of self and self-esteem and transiting Jupiter is aspecting natal Jupiter. And this is wonderful. As a matter of fact, her Jupiter in her chart, it rules her fourth house of family, home security, and the seventh house of relationships. And as transiting Jupiter is aspecting her natal Jupiter, I think she'll be free. And I think she will be free to have a relationship and possibly even children if she wants. Jupiter, Jupiter, remember Jupiter is the indicator for children in Vedic astrology. But most of all, I see Jupiter as freedom and happiness. It's a release and this is the time. The hardcore aspects brought everything to the surface, the pain, the suffering, the endings, the abuse, but Jupiter gives freedom. And Jupiter has been stationing at the seven degree mark right now. And then again in January, it will come back December and January to the seven, eight degree, giving a result to her life, freedom to live her life on her own terms, with her own money, to have her life back. That's what I see for Britney Spears coming up here in the future. And I just thought I'd show how perfectly and divinely astrology does work looking at her chart. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, if you would like a, a consultation, or if you would like to sign up for my free newsletter, go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And don't forget to check out my spiritual jewelry where I have malas and remnants of our spiritual path. And if you would like to study Vedic astrology with me, you can come on board to the university and join our community of Vedic astrologers. It is one of the fastest growing astrology schools in the world. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.